Hello everyone, my name is Patrick and welcome to my first devlog. This video is about my city building game that I'm currently working on. The game is now about 2 months in development and I wanted to show the progress so far. For this project I'm using Rust and Bevy Engine. The reason I chose this one is that I just really enjoy working in it. Game is mostly inspired by Caesar Free, which is one of my favorite games. But it's going to be based in modern times. No armies, no gladiators, no swords, just traffic and lots of concrete instead. It's supposed to be quite a relaxing, colorful and vibey game. Not really a hardcore simulation. There is not much gameplay so far. I focus mostly on the most important systems, such as tile grid, spawning entities, road system, pathfinding and scheduling. Tile grid is literally the base of the game. Entities can be spawned dependent if the tile is empty or it has the correct base for a given entity type. For example, buildings can be spawned on every free tile, but the cars can be spawned only on the roads. If there is not enough space for a given entity, the ghost, I call this transparent mesh a ghost, will stay red and hopefully won't spawn on the click. There are four types of entities in the game so far. Buildings, cars, roads and the other random objects that are there just for the looks. Building needs a road address in order to be active. Otherwise, residents will not be able to access it. This is logic that I took shamelessly straight from Caesar Free, but it kinda makes sense. Residents of our city apparently refuse to walk off the beaten track. There are currently three functions building can have in the game, home, work and shop. But there is no logic assigned to them yet. These are just labels allowing for traffic to go somewhere. By the way, I still have to spawn each piece of the road with a single click. There is no click and hold functionality to spawn more entities at once and it's really annoying. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. It's been two months. This leads us to the car entities. If I spawn them manually, they would just stay there on the road, with no real sense of purpose. However, if they are spawned from the scheduler by specific function event, they will know where to go. For example, these cars just spawned in front of a home on Monday morning. Let's see where do they go. Ah yes, they go to the office. How exciting is that? I mentioned scheduler, which is another key feature of the engine. Game keeps track of time and triggers functions based on the current day and hour. This allows for cars to go to home or office on weekdays, to go shopping on weekends, or the trucks to go from one side of the map to the other for no particular reason. I defined all those functions in a JSON config file with label, crontab schedule and toggle so I can switch them on and off without recompiling the game. The update function ticks the calendar timer on every frame. When timer is finished, it will add one hour to the clock. If the new hour is equal to 24, it gets reset to the new day and updates the calendar day and weekday. At last, it updates date visible in the UI and sends a check trigger event that would be consumed by the trigger function. Trigger function then will iterate through the event schedules and check if any of the events should be triggered. I used a star algorithm for pathfinding, but I want to talk about it more in the next video. As you can see, I chose low poly art style for the project. Well, I am not really an artist, so I reckon this is my best shot for creating a game. I got this set of assets from internet, but in future I want to try creating low poly models myself, just to keep them consistent. Hopefully, not consistently bad. 
This is also my first project in 3D and some of the first tries are definitely worth sharing in the video. All in all, I am quite happy with the progress so far. I'm really looking forward to adding more gameplay features to the game and hopefully share it in the future devlogs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Goodbye.